So here what I'm trying to do is demonstrate convection and density. I have a long thin black balloon that is absorbing heat energy from the sun. I haven't filled it up completely with air because as the heat energy from the sun hits the particles inside the uh, plastic of the wrapper, it heats that up. So lots of infrared radiation in the black plastic is then heating up the air inside and obviously outside the balloon. The air outside the balloon just moves out into the atmosphere. The air inside the balloon stays inside, heats up. Uh, heat energy in particles is basically a measure of how fast the particles are moving, or temperature is anyway. So the higher the temperature, the quicker the particles are moving. In a gas, the more quickly the particles move, the more likely they are to knock into each other and the more space they need because they, they create their own space by bumping into each other and knocking each other further apart and out of the way. So what happens is the particles take up more space. The balloon should appear to fill. It's obviously not got more particles in it because it's sealed. What's happening is those particles are moving more quickly because of the heat energy they're taking up more space. They're becoming less dense than they were before, and more importantly, less dense than the air around them, which is why they're trying to float, which is why that end is definitely floating. This end has a big knot on it, and it's tied down with string. Um, there's a bit of a, a knot of string there as well, so it's a bit heavier at this end. I'm hoping the sun has now come out with a vengeance that it's gonna, there we go. It's now getting a lot hotter. The air particles are expanding a bit more. It's lifting off the ground, and in a minute, hopefully, the whole thing will take off. As gases that are hotter rise up, there you go, colder air goes in underneath to take its place, and you have convection. Convection is when hot air becomes less dense and rises, and this is actually what happens with wind. The sun heats the atmosphere, parts of the atmosphere, the air in the atmosphere warm up and become less dense. As they become less dense they rise. As they rise they leave a space below them. That space is filled with air rushing in and as the air rushes in you feel it rush past you and that's the feeling of the air. Now the sun's just gone behind a cloud which is massive. There we go. So I expect in a minute this will cool down and come back down. But that actually is the highest I've ever had this. There you go. Um, yeah, and it is definitely coming down. So it's cooling. As it's cooling, the air particles are taking up much, much less space. They're becoming less dense and they're dropping. The whole, all of them. The whole thing is now just about the same density as the air around it because the particles in there, they're not warm, they're not moving around too quickly, they're not taking up so much space and down it comes. As you can see from the cloud, it's blimmin' massive, so I do suspect that we aren't going to get any sun for a while, which means that'll stay there. We'll put it away now, and uh, try and fly on another day when it's properly hot and sunny, and see how high I can get it. Convection, hot air rises because it's less dense than the surrounding air.